I'm going to show you how to make this classic one piece called the Karachut one piece. The first thing you want to do is download the pattern and print it out at 100% or do not scale and double check that the test square measurements match before you join the pieces together if you're doing the A4 version. So all you have to do is match the half hearts with the corresponding letters and then um, you'll be able to join the pieces perfectly. You can glue it, you can um, tape it down, whatever that you're most comfortable with and then you can cut it out in the size of your choice. Now the file is layered so you can isolate the sizes that you want because I know sometimes it can be confusing with multiple different lines so you can do that if needed and just make sure as I mentioned earlier that you are printing at 100% or do not scale and this would just make sure that you have the correct size. When that's done and everything's joined together you'll have two pieces like this one for the back and one for the front. And now you can cut it out in your fabric. You can use a pair of scissors or rotary cutter, whatever that's most comfortable for you. I'm using some gorgeous swimwear fabric today. Love the color. You'll need some elastic as well. And if you're using hardware for adjustable straps, don't forget that too. When you're done cutting out, you're gonna have two pieces like this. So two for the back and two for the front. And haven't included the strap patterns, so don't forget to cut them out. The width depends on you. And I have a rough length guide in the PDF. So we're going to start by prepping our straps. So you can use elastic cord as well if that's what you want to do but if you're not you're just going to prep your straps by folding them in half and stitching them together and not forgetting to add elastic. Elastic is super important for the straps here. It just makes sure that you can really like pull it and because you know the straps have a lot of stress to them so having elastic just helps them last longer without stretching out and warping so when you're done you're just going to turn it right sides out and you'll end up with two pieces like this so now we can get started on our main pieces we're going to start with the back piece so we're going to match it right sides together so for the lining and for the self or if you're doing reversible the two different fabrics just make sure you're matching the patterns perfectly and you're going to stitch the back and the leg hole openings. Now when that's done, before you add your elastic, I like to add where my straps are going to be. So I'm doing adjustable straps, so I'm just adding these small little loops. You can see I've made a mark where I want them to be. This is completely up to you where you want to put your straps because there's a multitude of designs that you can do. So I'm just putting it like sort of middle-ish in the back and I'm just using my seam ripper to cut a little small stitch and feeding it through with my loop turner and I'm going to do a little straight stitch there and then add the elastic on top. Now for the elastic, I've explained this in previous videos but just in case you haven't watched any of them, you want to just measure the place that you're doing the elastic without seam allowance and then you want to minus about 3-5% to depending on how tight you want the fit to be and then cut your elastic out. This is particularly useful for like leg hole openings or symmetrical openings that way you get the elastic the exact same amount. Sometimes I find with the elastic foot what happens is that it can fit differently a little bit. Um, so yeah, this way you will have the exact same amount for both sides. And I just like to pin the edge and then I'll ease it in as I stitch. Now for the front piece, same thing. We're gonna match in right sides together, making sure everything is aligned and beautiful. And we are going to stitch the armhole openings, the neckline, and the leg hole openings. So armhole, neckline, and leg hole openings. We're leaving the side seam in the crotch, just like what we did earlier. And don't forget to add the elastic as well. I like to use a combination of clips and pins when I'm stitching. I just find it, it helps. So that's what I'm doing. And now we're gonna add the strap pieces to the front. So I like to just measure where to cut and then I'll just cut a little bit, feed the straps through, do a straight stitch and I like to fold it over and do another stitch just to keep it really strong and steady okay now you're gonna turn the back piece right sides out and we're gonna sandwich it in between the front piece you can do it the opposite way as well I just found this way easier so you can see we're gonna match it all like that but on the inside so right sides together matching where what needs to be and we're gonna put it inside sandwiching it all together this is my favorite method for doing one pieces I feel like it looks so clean 
um, just make sure that you are matching your side seams and your notches so now you can stitch the crotch line and the side seams together you do not have to add any elastic here and when that's done you're going to find a spot i usually like to do it at the like armhole line because i find it a little bit inconspicuous so i'm just gonna seam rip a little hole so that i can turn it to the right side out and i take my time with this and when that's done we're just gonna slowly feed it through being very gentle so i don't like rip any extra stitches When that's done, all you have to do is close that little opening with a ladder stitch or a straight stitch, whatever that's easier for you. And then you can just finish up your straps depending on your style. So for me, I was inspired by the um, Gooseberry Intimate So Chic One Piece. Um, so I wanted to have my hardware looking like that. So I'm just going to finish up by hand. I find it way easier to do this by hand versus the machine because it's like a small small area to work with and it kind of gets a bit bulky so i just prefer to do it by hand and when you're done this is what you'll have a really cute and chic classic plunging one piece i hope you guys found this video helpful if you have any questions as usual you can leave it below or just message me on etsy and i will see you in the next one bye